Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Web Tutorials. In this video, we'll talk about the element settings default value for input fields. We're at our demo project here and I've already added a few input fields. So we have a text field, an email field, and a text area field. Let's head over to the input settings, the input element settings, and we'll head over to content. And I can see that I have a default value. What the default value will do is and this differentiates from the label and placeholder. As we know, placeholder will just hold the space until you start typing something and the label is just a label to show you what it is and we can also hide it. The default value would actually place a value in there. So let's say you had a form and the user submits these input fields. So you had a push to Salesforce. If you put a default value and the user didn't change it, this is what will be used uh, for that field. So for instance, if we'll say default value is uh, Mr. Don at key.com. And for here, we'll say default value, some really cool description. And I'll save this and let's preview. And we can see that these are actual text in there and the placeholder is completely different so it's empty until the user types something in when you use the default value it will actually contain that value and if we had a button to push this to salesforce let's say create a lead create a contact or whatever this is then this is the value that will be used uh, for that field and this is how it's done